Hello and thank you so much for clicking on to my video. I was trying to get an image for a thumbnail there. Um, but it is all about my little vintage Dior bag that I thrifted from eBay. And the price was £10.51, which I could not believe. Um, it just says a lot about vintage bags that people prefer... Um, the brand new bags and or the latest strand which is a complete shame because I love vintage bags because some of them are really timeless pieces that you could still use now in the present day things like this there are, are certain vintage pieces that are not um like the Dior saddle bags I definitely wouldn't call them a timeless piece I'm not really keen on them, but something like this that is very plain and simple. It's just basically a wallet on a chain. I think you can go wrong picking these up. And for £10.51, you can see you can pick them up for really dirt cheap. And the only th other thing people say is it's hard to um, authenticate vintage pieces. I think on the whole, you have more chance of picking up a genuine piece if it is vintage but you still have to keep an eye out to see if it's real or fake um you can do it yourself you can send it away to a company but that really is very very expensive i think you really have to put the time in and do a little bit of research look up youtube um, and look up Google Images. If you find a bag that has been authenticated on the internet and just if it's similar to the bag that you have then just use little things to compare to your bag. Likes of the, um, the logo, the stamp inside, the material used, those little things if you compare to your bag you sort of build up a picture and then you're able to determine whether your bag is real or not. The only other thing is there's a very good website and I am definitely not sponsored by them. It's called purseforum.com. I'll put the link below but it's really easy to remember, purseforum. Um, they are really, really good. They are consist of members who are just ordinary purse or handbag addicts but they also have people in their members that are experts that maybe have worked with the brands before and know their stuff and they're able to as long as you submit enough pictures of of your bag and include important things like the logo um and the hardware and things like that they can maybe determine whether your bag is real or fake and they also have another important feature which is really good um, for and I think it's only for the eBay platform but if you submit um, an item number before you purchase the item they can tell whether it's real or fake and I think that is pretty pretty good so enough waffling and back to the bag so this is basically just a wallet on a chain it's navy and it's sort of a nylon uh, colour. It is in very, very good condition considering its age. And um, yeah, it is pretty dirty. But that is something that um, I can do myself at home and try and clean it up. But there are no rips or tears at all in the bag. In fact, there is no really sign of wear. There is a leather trim and you can see around that leather trim there is absolutely no sign of wear whatsoever. Even inside the bag the trim is perfect. The hardware, that's the only sign of wear and again I, I wouldn't say so much of wear, maybe just with age that um, the colour has started to fade but it's actually Fade it more on the little plaque, the Dior plaque here, because that definitely looks silver compared to the gold on the chain. So the chain actually looks in better condition. The chain and the hardware are very important features uh, um, in building up the picture whether your bag is real or fake or not. This chain is substantial, it's heavy, and the fact that it, it's actually just faded and not tarnished 
tells me it's a very very good quality chain so that is a plus the little Dior logo is another definite telltale sign this is how it should be there are definitely signs of wear on the plaque just a couple of little scratches um, but the, the Dior logo here is as it should be this navy bag is monogrammed so it has a Dior logo printed over it so it's all on the back here and that is definitely another important feature to look at when you're looking to decide whether the bag is real or fake the Dior logo um, they should all be equally spaced from each other and you can see that I mean they are all equally spaced from each other and they all form a sort of diagonal line you can see it better around the back probably you can see they are definitely forming a diagonal line and are all equally spaced the Dior logo itself also um, if you look at the lettering the D I think the ratio to the D to the other letters should always be the same. The D should always be the bigger letter and the I, the O and the R should be the same sort of size. And that all um, indicates that it is a real Dior monogram. So this is the leather trim and the quality of the leather too is another giveaway I mean if it feels plastic then it obviously isn't real but that feels very substantial and definitely feels like leather to me now the inside of the bag so this is just a very plain wallet in the chain there are no other zipper compartments uh, no hidden compartments and that is all leather there this is a leather strap just to anchor the chain and that's all very thick it is really very thick and substantial so this bit here is all nylon with the Dior monogram and this bit here is all uh, nylon with a Dior monogram this bit here is the only thing that was wrong with the bag this little button fastener it's attached there and this bit should be sunk in here and it's broken it's came off so that is something that I'm going to try and fix at home um, but I mean things like that to your local uh, shoemaker or can maybe have a go at fixing that but honestly that is all um, ex very easily accessible there so I'm going to have a go at putting that back on myself one last thing to look out for and this is the logo here it says Christian Dior made in France now there was one particular guide in particular that I was looking on at eBay and it said all Christian Dior bags are made in Italy and that's not the case some vintage bags were definitely made in France so I'm not sure where they get their information from or what they were uh, what they were trying to say but it was very misleading and it's one of the reasons that I had a little bit of a doubt but I just want another reason why I wanted Purse Forum to confirm that this was real but no definitely some vintage bags were made in France so if you have one that says that do not panic and do not go by some of those guides um, and again some of them are only referring to the Lady Dior bags I'm not referring to any other model of bag that Christian Dior makes so that's something to bear in mind so that is my little review of my wallet in the chain that I picked up for £10.51 which I think is absolutely amazing and I was considering taking the chain off and using it for another leather bag from Christian Dior that I have but I don't want to ruin this little bag I want to keep it um, so that's it so if you have any questions please feel free to leave them in the comment section below or if you have any suggestions or advice for me or actually know uh, what date this bag is from please feel free to leave them in the comment section below 
and if you made it to the end of this video thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a lovely day or, or a lovely evening wherever you are. Thank you. Bye bye.